So we are enjoying a nice hot summer day. Ah! Direct hit. And I'm thinking about how wonderful the shade from these trees is. It's so wonderful. <laughs> Okay, let's paint some trees today. What do you think? This is my sketch. I want to keep it super simple with trees and a little moon and some sunset colors. So you can get these stickers basically at any grocery store. And this is how I'm going to do my moon. So here's my trick. Get a pencil or a pen and take one of the stickers Overlap it with another to get kind of the, si the size moon you want. And I will just trace it. Take that one off. Now this one is the shape of a nice crescent moon. I try not to touch the sticky part so it sticks better. But then I'm going to cut this out. And then I have... Sliver Moon sticker. And you can pose it any way you want. Using a nice big brush, I'm going to start with the lightest color, which is my pink. So I'll just throw it on and start painting side to side. I'm using acrylic paint and I like to put a generous amount so that when I add the other colors, I'll have plenty of paint to blend into. I won't need to change my brushes. I'll just squirt on a little bit of my light blue and start blending side to side. Then I can grab a dark blue and blend that in side to side. Don't forget those edges. Nice. So now using a brand new clean brush, I can start blending down at the bottom, slowly heading up to the top. Keep your brush moving side to side only. And if you get too much blue on the brush, switch to a clean brush. Start again at the bottom and keep going until it's very smooth. Don't forget to wash those brushes. I push down, down to the bottom of the bowl, and that works really well to get all the paint out of that brush. Okay, now I'm gonna take my black and start by making the ground. So this could be bumpy, smooth, any way you want. Could be a wild, crazy cliff. Could be a flat desert. What will it become? Go a little higher here. And maybe higher again. Just to be a little more interesting. So I've got some other size brushes here. I think I might do the wedge or the teeny tiny one. And you can just scoop up the black that's here. I do like to do the trunk of the tree first. So I'm going to load this up, kind of tamp it on one side, tamp it on the other, try to get it real thin. And I'm going to start with one really tall tree right here, I think. Yeah. If you flip the brush up, you can just flick it up at the very end to let it end very skinny. Now that is just the trunk. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to start with teeny little dots and dashes near the top. And as I head down they can get a little bigger and a little bigger. I'm trying to make them fringy, like 
jaggedy and wild and complicated. And I'll take it all the way to the bottom. Cool. Love it. All right, so let's give it some friends. How about a little one here? So trying to do as little as you can at the top. Leaving lots of spaces. Letting that edge be really wild. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, maybe I'll give him a little teeny one here in the corner. Continue painting trees until you have a nice odd number. For some reason, if you have an odd number of objects, people report it being more interesting and more likable. So I'll just keep adding trees and when it gets close to the time where I think I have enough, I'll count them out and if there's an even number, I'll add one more. So this one has uh, five trees now and that will be perfect um, as it is an odd number and it feels really balanced and nice. This picture feels full. Using a tiny brush, you can make sure all those edges are very natural and wild looking. I let it dry, and now I'm gonna find that sticker. There it is. Woohoo! I love this part. It's so satisfying. Nice. Oh, there's a little more left. Thanks for watching, and I do hope that you give this painting a try.